Hi, everybody. It's nice to you. Well, I fooled those three people. Now I have to fool the rest of you. <laughs> Thanks for the kind remarks, uh, Mark and John and Peter. Merci à vous, V3C, c'est d'après-midi. I'm pleased to announce today that I am seeking the nomination to be the Liberal candidate for the SD and SG provincial election, uh, well, pardon me, you know what I mean. There's a provincial election in October. I want to be the Liberal candidate. The first thing I'm usually asked is, uh, what's Martine think about this? <sighs> Tough question to answer. <laughs> I think I better show you, okay? So this is me. <laughs> this is Martine. <laughs> Mon amour. <laughs> tu sais que Jim va faire son retraite, hein? Je pense que je vais uh, considérer de prendre son nomination. Qu'est-ce que tu penses? <laughs> Es-tu fou, toi? <laughs> Qu'est-ce que je vais faire? Vous, a, euh, vous avez voyagé. Euh, tu vas laisser moi ici. Tu vas me laisser ici. Il faut faire les corrections des fois. <rire> Où tu vas, toi? Ben. Euh, Pas fou, mais uh, c'est Toronto. <laughs> Toronto, pas ma poids de pas de Toronto. Um, pourquoi Toronto? Uh, pourquoi pas Montréal? Quelque chose d'intéressant. <laughs> ben, Toronto, c'est la capitale provinciale. <coughs> Donc. C'est pas ma faute. <laughs> so that's kind of the way it went. <laughs> of course, after considerable thought and discussion, Martine has agreed to support this effort. And she has begun to think of elements in this new life that could appeal to her. La deuxième question, la plus populaire, c'est... Comment va ton français? La réponse, bien. <laughs> Ça pourrait être mieux. <laughs> Mais je vais essayer de temps en temps. Permettez-moi de dire quelques mots au sujet de Jim Brownell. Uh, it's already been mentioned, but uh, Jim will hear this many times over the next uh, months. Jim has been, in my opinion, a model politician. First, last, and always. He thinks about the needs of his constituents. Jim has found a way at every turn to represent us effectively. We think of the many large infrastructure projects he got funding for, the hospitals, the roads, St. Lawrence College. But the things that touched us most were the personal things he did for people. Listening to people hurt by child abuse, helping individuals negotiate their way through bureaucracy, making personal donations to help people. I've seen him do it. I've learned a lot from watching Jim work. I hope to continue the good work he's done. Jim. Well, why am I running? Pourquoi ça m'intéresse? I'm not going to get into a platform discussion today. That'll come later. But I'd like to tell you a bit about what I care about and why that motivated me to take this step. I care about Eastern Ontario. It is my adopted home. I've been here almost 20 years now, and I'm not leaving. Martine and I like the life that we lead here. We want to be part of this community and to contribute to its growth and development. My first concern is for our economic growth. Eastern Ontario has made great strides in recent years. The Liberal government created the Eastern Ontario Development Fund 
The municipal economic development offices have had some tremendous successes attracting large employers. The federal and provincial governments created stimulus funds to deal with the recent recession. We've had important help with big infrastructure projects. We're grateful for that help, but there's more to be done. I intend to focus on creating opportunity for small business. We must encourage the small investor, who is often homegrown, to create new investment in our community. There may be spin-off opportunities from the large businesses that have moved here. We need to examine the red tape, which is such a, a nuisance to our business community. We need to examine opportunity within our tax laws to give breaks to employment creating small business. Things have been done. I understand the HST is helpful. We can do more. I want you to know that I consider myself to be a fiscal conservative. I don't think building our province should be based on unfettered government spending. We're in a deficit now. We need to restrain ourselves and, where possible, make reductions. I will be a voice in my party for restraint in our spending and at least holding a line on taxation. My career was in education, first for